Hey guys, my name is Lakia Maria and welcome to another video here on my channel. Whether you're new to the channel or an OG, I primarily share planning and organizational videos and today I'm coming at you guys with a Plum Paper monthly planner review. I have reviewed Plum Paper here on the channel in the past and I will have those videos linked in the description box for your convenience. Special thanks to Plum Paper for sending me this planner to review and as with any review here on my channel all opinions are my own. Now without further ado let's get right into it. So just some general information on the Plum Paper planners and how they work. So you are able to fully customize this planner from the cover to the content that is inside of it. So there are three sizes available, A5, 7x9, 8.5x11. You choose your cover pattern. This is the one that I went with. There are so many options to choose from. You can also add text as well as the year to the cover if you so choose. There's the layouts that you can choose. I went with the monthly, which starts at $35, but depending on the layout and the add-ons and the other modifications that you want to do to the planner, that does fluctuate the price. So other layouts include a vertical, a horizontal, there's a teacher, a student, plus so many more. You can then choose the color scheme. There are three options for that. But one thing I really, really love about this Plum Paper Planner is that you can choose the start month. Opposed to an 18 month or a 12 month planner where you know the 18 month starts in July of one year and goes to December of the following, and then a 12 month typically starting in January of that year, Wherever you want to start the planner, you can start in that month. So if you wanted to start a planner right now and have it go into 2022, you can do that. You can start it in November or even December of 2020 and have it go into 2022. Excuse me, November, December of 2021 and have it go into December of 2022. Clearly my mind is still in 2020. So that's an option there. This particular monthly, I wanted it to start in July of 2021. I just didn't end up using it until October. So I did remove those months. I just ripped them out. I know some people do uncoil their planners. I didn't do all that. I just ripped them out. But you can choose the start month and you can add up to 18 months from the start month. You can also choose the day that you would like your monthly planner to start on, whether that is a Monday or a Sunday. Other add-ons include adding in holidays or birthdays or special events that pertain to you. It could be an anniversary as well. Then there's also binding options that are available, not just this coil. You can have the planner disc bound punch or you can have no punch at all and modify it, how it's gonna work for you when you put it together in your system. Other add-ons, include notes and lists there's a faith section there's a home section there's a fitness section there's so many add-ons for you to choose from but what's cool about the add-ons is that you can have them dispersed throughout the planner which would be at the end of each month or have them tabbed in the back and as i'm about to show you you will see both of those options so this particular planner with the add-ons and everything that i did came out to around 45 dollars. so it's not a cheap planner but what I love about this monthly is that if you are looking for something that is semi-structured and if you are someone that's into bullet journaling or a content creator like myself and you just want something that's very very basic this is a great option so let's go ahead and take a closer look so with all of the planners you will have this coil here you'll have this plastic cover and then this is the cover as i mentioned that you can customize so i went with this print i put my brand name on it i could have chose a different print it is what it is then you have the my planner belongs to page this is standard in all the planners as are these perpetual calendar so we have 2021 and 2022 and these planners are great these calendars, excuse me, are great to track your trash days, recycle days, sporting events, recurring appointments and meeting, the days that you work out, things of that nature. Then you have the special dates page. So as a content creator, I would use this section for the highlight videos, the top videos that worked out great during these particular months and then you have that similar layout that's not labeled so you can put ideas for different types of videos that you have on your channel or 
whatever else you want. They call it ideas, plans, and goals. And then there is this blank notes page here. And then we get into the dividers. Each of the dividers has a different color. I actually thought I had chose a neutral version, but it is what it is. The month is at the bottom. You have these mylar tabs over here. The paper is not, this um, cardstock is not thin at all. And you can decorate this if you so choose. But again, there are three color options that you can choose for this inside. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the monthly looks like. Let me get to a month that I haven't touched yet. So we're gonna start in January. So here's the divider. Then when you flip it over, you have the monthly highlights. You have these three bubbles, birthdays, events, things to remember, two more slots down here, and then a notes page. I did not use these pages, so this is something that I would tape together because it doesn't pertain to me. Then you have your two page monthly. Then you have your sidebar and then the upcoming month in the bottom right hand corner and then the year at the top right hand corner. Then I decided to add in notes pages after each month as well as a to-do list page. So there's I think up to 180 pages that you can add in before they cut you off. So that is that. And then at the end of this one, this is the tabbed note section that I'm talking about how you can have them dispersed. So this is the dispersed option. And then this one is what I had added on to the end. So it's a mix of regular blank paper and then I have some dot grid paper back here, the my contacts which is in every planner, the password page as well as the calendar for the upcoming year and then this double sided pocket. And then here is the back cover. So whatever print you decide to go with for the front will correlate with the back. Now what I would recommend if you are going with a monthly planner, again, I mentioned the whole thing of structure. If you are looking to do something as far as like a bullet journal, this is a great option to lead you in that direction, but get, still give you the structure that you may want in having a printed monthly. I know a lot of people go with bullet journals to have that you know, that blank canvas to create whatever it is that you want. But if you are someone that is a monthly planner and you just need notes pages to jot down your to-dos, to add in those sticky notes and those list pads, however you want to do it, then this monthly option would be great. Do I bank or tank the Plum Paper Planner? I would, I'm not a huge fan of the price. The planner does get pricey, but out of all the different versions that I have tried. I've tried the content planner itself. I've created one. I've tried the vertical. I've seen the hourly. I've tried all of those. And this monthly is literally just the basics, the bare bones. It's $44 with all the things that I added in here. So that is one where it's like, okay, I got the customization that I wanted. It's worth the price for me. But to straight up just spend 60 something dollars on a planner, especially when not everybody wants to commit to a particular style, the pricing, it's not the most affordable of the planners. But I think that when it comes to customization and getting something that you exactly want, I'm not going to tank the planner because I've been trying these planners out for years. I've been reviewing them for years. And the quality is just amazing. I haven't had any issues with a plum paper ever. And it's the customization that you are paying for that you have to keep in mind. So is it the most affordable option when it comes to a planner? No, of course there are cheaper alternatives. I've shared those here on my channel as well. But if you are looking for a more customized option, because there are daily options, there's hourly options, you can create the planner that you so choose that best matches your lifestyle where you are and this is just a great option in my opinion. 
So that's it for this video. I would love to chat with you guys in the comments. Have you ever tried Plum Paper? What are your thoughts on it? If you have never checked out any reviews here on my channel, I have so many. I will have them linked in the description box. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the no notification bell. And for all of you that are, I thank you. I love you guys. Stay safe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.